snorkeling tomorrow. You know that. Yeah. Are you ready? I'm actually nervous. What? I don't know. I've, I, I have, I've never done it before. So I'm just nervous. I'm a marine biologist that doesn't swim. Does that sound bad? I, I saw people uh, jump in the water, they swim. So I thought, ah, it's easy. Yeah, it's not ah, it's very easy. <laughs> it's easy. It's easy. <laughs> then I was like, I jumped there. Ah. <laughs> it was over for you. <laughs> Luckily now there's someone uh, ran to be uh, helping to you rescue up. me. Hey. But that's, that's how a lot of kids learned how to swim. But that was like a, a, a guy's spot. Like, the boys used to do that. I was very scared. I, I couldn't do it. So I, I, I used to be the kid that was watching and then just kind of still counting the heads, but there was a lot of drownings. And our parents forbid us from doing it. We always get warned, do not, do not, do not. They told me that if you go into the ocean, you're never coming back because there's the ocean gods. Mamkebe, in my language, we called it. So we knew that if Mamkebe takes you, then you're going to be Mamkebe's child. You're not coming back. So I, from a landlocked province called Limpopo province, very small village called Mohori village. I taught myself how to swim. I'm this one person that likes to watch a lot of YouTube videos to learn things. <laughs> And I, I'm very nervous about the still snuggling trip. I don't want to lie. It's going to be my first time uh, being out in the ocean and just swimming freely. I, but I'm going to do this. Remember, the water in the pool is not moving. It's there, it's just there for you. So immediately when the water starts moving around, that's where the problem starts. <laughs> there is waves involved, there is surprises involved, there's just everything involved. I think that's the nerve wracking part of it. Since I call myself a 40% swimmer, if I go and do the seal snuggling and survive, <laughs> I am going to now up it to 50% swimmer. So <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. I teach kids about the beauty of our oceans and how fragile our oceans are and the threats that our oceans are facing today. Anybody else? What did you guys learn about? The ocean dead zone. Ooh, you are fancy. So she learned about the ocean dead zone. So you didn't know about the ocean dead zone, but now you do, right? Pollution, yes. Intercepting plastic. So what do we do as as the ocean warriors to, inter to intercept plastic, what do we do? And what are you going to do as an individual to keep our oceans clean? Our ocean school is the very first physical pilot ocean school in the world. These kids wake up so close to the ocean. They come to the ocean every single day. They walk on the beach, but they still don't understand the ocean. They still don't have the knowledge about the ocean. They still fear the ocean. 
So we try to take that away from them so that they can understand that the ocean is our friend. What are we going to make with this? We need to make something with this. Oh, wait, you need hands. To be honest, since I started working with these kids, my life has changed. I see life in a different way. I know love from different angles, and these kids bring that to me. In 2006, we came to Cape Town from Limpopo for a school trip. I was 13 when I was going to Robin Island. My biggest highlight was getting onto that boat. And you know when you're standing outside on the deck, uh, you just get all the splash of water. That was overwhelming. I told myself that one way or another, I want to work here. I want to be in the ocean. I don't know to do what, but I want to come back to Cape Town. I needed somebody who could come and tell me about marine biology. Maybe I could have had uh, the love for this career from a very young age if we just had one person come into our school to tell me about it. And that's something that I never got. I am happy experiencing the ocean from outside, but I think I'd be happier if I could experience it from the inside. This is the island that's called Danka Island. Right next to the seal colony, that's where we do the snorkeling. On safety, large jackets, they are the bottom of the boat. I want lessons before I go back, but I'm definitely going back. It was one of the best days in my life. So I really loved it. <laughs> now I have a whole sore body that I can't, from my neck down, I have a sore body. Oh my God, it's, it's, I'm just sit there. The scientist part of me is in love with the ocean. But the belief side that where I grew up, the fear of the great unknown, a little bit of it is still there. 
that feeling of where I came from and now I'm here. I mean, that is, what, eight, nine years apart from the time I started studying this to now. And there's a lot of difference. I can see a lot of change in it. And I'm really grateful for that.